welcome to services marketing and today we will be talking about module 35 now uh, we were talking about uh, complaint handling and service recovery uh, in the earlier two modules that are module 33 and 34 and we will uh, continue and uh, and finish up with this uh, complaint handling and service recovery in this module so now let us see what are the things that we will be talking about in this module first is that we will recognize the power of a service guarantee Second is understand how to design effective service guarantees, know when firms should not offer ser uh, service guarantees and be familiar with seven group of J customers and understand how to manage them effectively. Now let us look at what are service guarantees. So it is uh, a common phenomena with, uh, with products that uh, several products they come with guarantees but uh, our concern is, the, is service guarantee. One way for particularly customer oriented firms to institutionalize professional complaint handling and effective service recovery is through offering service guarantee. So these service guarantees are a tool for service recovery. So we have talked about service recovery earlier and now we are talking about this tool that is service guarantee for the purpose of service recovery. So keep in mind that this is important for service recovery. A well designed service guarantee not only facilitates effective service recovery but also institutionalize learning from service failures and subsequent system improvement. So when there are service failures and the service fails then people request for the service recovery. The customers they ask for service recovery, service guarantee ensures that uh, the service recovery is done but in this process there are lots of learning for the company that is they are able to find out where there are failures in services and therefore they can bring about appropriate uh, changes in the system so that these failures do not occur uh, later on. So that is the biggest advantage of this service guarantee. So the market and financial results of managing service people effectively for service advantage can be phenomenal. Amongst the most demanding jobs in service businesses are the frontline jobs. Service firms are characterized by a distinct culture of service leadership and role modeling by, by its top management. Now, service guarantees are powerful tools for both promoting and achieving service quality. These are for both these purposes uh, uh, promoting and achieving service quality and for the following reasons. First, they force the firm to focus on what their customer want and expects in each element of the service. So because now you are giving guarantee, so it forces the company to look at what customer wants and expects in each element of service because if services go wrong and customer want the service to be recovered, so company will have to uh, uh, go in for service guarantee and that may uh, that may lead to uh, to financial losses that is why the second reason is that they set clear standards telling customers as well as employees alike what the company stands for so that employees are also clear as well as the customer should be clear regarding what the custom uh, the company wants to deliver and the third is that they require the development of a system for generating meaningful customer feedback and acting on it. So it, uh, it, it provides a system that uh, whereby the customer gives the feedback and they are also assured that some kind of action will be taken on this feedback. They force service organization to understand why they fail and, and encourage them to identify and overcome potential fail points. Because they are guaranteeing the service Therefore, the companies they are forced to look at where the service is failing, what are the potential fail points and to make their service fail proof. Because what happens is that if service, uh, if the company's service keeps on failing and customer keeps on asking for service recovery and if the company has given a guarantee then they will have to shell out some uh, some amount of money for service recovery so that that will make uh, the, uh, the firm unprofitable in the long run. 
and they build marketing muscle by reducing the risk of the purchase decision and building long term loyalty. So, another advantage is that the customer perceived risk is reduced by way of guarantees. You, we, we have already seen that customer perceived risk is more in services as compared to products because of the, the, the dimensions of service, uh, services, because of the characteristics of services. So, now this loyalty, it reduces this, purchase, this perceived risk. So, from the customer's perspective, the primary function of service guarantee is to lower the perceived risk associated with the purchase of these services. The presence of a guarantee may also make it easier for customers to complain and more likely that they will do so. And the, the uh, another advantage of, of guarantee is that the customer, if the service fail, they are more likely to complain to the company and that is a blessing in disguise for the company because uh, that gives the chance uh, to the company to fail proof their service. Now, let us look at this example. The benefit of service guarantee can be seen clearly in the case of Hampton Inn and they give this guarantee that is 100 percent Hampton guarantee. So, their guarantee is 100 percent Hampton guarantee. If you are not 100 percent satisfied, you do not pay. So, that is their guarantee. Let us see at the figure 1. So, they, they uh, Hampton Inn includes its 100 percent satisfaction guaranteed in their advertising. So, here also they are saying that 100 percent Hampton guarantee and satisfaction, satisfaction, satisfaction all the way. As a business building program, Hampton's strategy of offering to refund the cost of the room to a guest who expresses dissatisfaction has attracted new customers and also served as a powerful retention device. So, because of this 100 percent guarantee, if the customer is not satisfied, so he will not pay. Because of this guarantee, the existing customers have become loyal and it has also brought in new customers to Hampton Inn. So, in discussing the impact on staff and managers, the vice president of marketing of at Hampton Inn stated, designing the guarantee made us understand what made guests satisfied rather than what we thought made them satisfied. So, now this is the huge difference. The difference lies in from where uh, at from where are you looking at the customer. So, is it from the customer's point of view or it is the company's point of view. So, this is what he is saying designing the guarantee made us understand what made guests satisfied rather than what we thought made them satisfied. So, that can be different perspective. So, this is satisfaction that is customer satisfaction. Now, how does it look like from the customer's view viewpoint or the company's viewpoint? So, there may be a difference in these two company's viewpoint and customer's viewpoint. So, when the company designs and gives the service guarantee, they look at this satisfaction, customer satisfaction from this way and not this way. Some guarantees are simple and unconditional, other appears to be written by lawyers and contain many restrictions. So, service guarantee should be designed to meet the following criteria. So, there may be some guarantees that are simple and unconditional and it is easy for people to understand, while there may be other guarantees that are more complicated and uh, therefore, uh, not many people get into that. So, what are the characteristics of a good service guarantee? The first is that it should be the service guarantee should be unconditional. So, that is the first characteristics. Whatever is promised in the guarantee must be totally unconditional and there should not be any element of surprise for the customer. So, the customer should not say that oh, I did not knew this or you have not read this. The second characteristic of a good guarantee is it should be easy to understand and communicate. The customer is clearly aware of the benefits that can be gained from this guarantee. So, he knows that if he is asking for a guarantee or if a guarantee is given to him then what to expect. The third is 
it should be meaningful to the customer. The guarantee should be of something important to the customer and the compensation should be more than adequate to cover the service failure. So, it may be that the guarantee is unconditional or and it is easy to understand and communicate, but it is meaningless to the customer. That is the amount of money to be paid or the compensation to be paid to the customer is too small. And the another characteristic of uh, service guarantee is that it should be easy to invoke. It means that it, it should be easy for the customer to invoke the guarantee like in the case of Hampton in 100% satisfaction. So, if the customer is not 100% satisfied, they do not expect him to pay. So, that is a plain simple easy to invoke. So, if I go and say that I have not satisfied, so they will not charge me. So, that is as plain as, as plain and simple as that. It should be easy to collect on. If a service failure occurs, the customer should be able to easily collect on the guarantee without any kind of problems. And then the last characteristic is that they should be credible. The guarantee should be believable. So, these are the six characteristics of a good service guarantee. Now, is full satisfaction the best you can guarantee? So, full satisfaction guarantees have generally been considered the best possible design. However, it has been suggested that the ambiguity associated with such guarantees can lead to the discounting of their perceived value. For example, customer may raise questions such as what does full satisfaction means? So, this may be different to different people what does full satisfaction means. So, let us look at the various types of service guarantee. The first is attribute specific guarantee that is guaranteed delivery within 24 hours. So, now you know that the delivery is, with, is within 24 hours or the pizza will be delivered in 1 hour or money back. So, this is a attribute specific guarantee. So, they are highly specific and therefore, do not suffer from ambiguity although their coverage is not comprehensive and limits their appeal. A hybrid version of the full satisfaction and attribute specific guarantee referred to as combined guarantee addresses this issue. So, table 1 shows example of various types of guarantee and this is table 1. So, here it is the term, the first column, then the scope and then there are some examples. So, let us start with the single attribute specific guarantee. One key attribute of the service is covered by the guarantee and the in example include any of these specified popular pizza is guaranteed to be served within 10 minutes of ordering on working days between 12 am and 2 pm. If the pizza is late, cus the customer's next order is free. Now, let us move at this is the A. Now, let us move at B that is multi attribute specific guarantee. And the scope of this guarantee is that a few important attributes of the service are covered by these guarantee. And the in example include Minneapolis Marriott. So, that is the Marriott branch of Marriott in Minneapolis. They guarantee our quality commitment to you is to provide first a friendly efficient check-in, second a clean comfortable room where everything works and third a friendly efficient checkout. So, these are the three things that they are giving you. So, if we in your opinion do not deliver on this commitment, we will give you 20 dollars in cash no questions asked. It is your interpretation whether you have got what was promised or not. So, they will not ask anything they will give you a dollar 20 in cash. The third one is the full satisfaction guarantee. So, the scope of the guarantee is all aspects of the service are covered by this guarantee and there are no exceptions. And the example is lands and guarantee. If you are not completely satisfied with any item you buy from us at any time during your use of it, return it and we will refund your full purchase price. So, now you see if you are not completely satisfied with any item that you buy from us and all through the life of that item, then you can return and you will get the full price back. We mean every word of it whenever always. 
but to make sure this is perfectly clear we have decided to simplify it further guaranteed dot period the next type of service guarantee term is combined guarantee all aspect of the service are covered by the full satisfaction promise of the guarantee explicit minimum performance standard on important attributes are included in the guarantee to reduce uncertainty data pro information services guarantee to deliver the report on time to high quality standards and to the contents outlined in their proposal should we fail to deliver according to this guarantee you can deduct any amount from the final payment which is deemed as fair so now they are giving the amount that you can deduct to the customer so if they are not satisfied they can deduct the amount that they think is fair is it always beneficial to introduce a service guarantee managers should think carefully about their about their firm's strengths and weaknesses when deciding whether or not to introduce a guarantee so it is important that that what are the firm's strengths and weaknesses and then to decide whether to introduce a guarantee or not there are a number of situations in which a guarantee may not be appropriate and the situation one of those situation is that the company with a strong reputation for service excellence may not need a guarantee because they are all already giving excellent service in fact it can be incongruent with their image to offer one as it might confuse the market that why this company is giving a guarantee when they are already excellent in services the second can be a firm whose service is currently poor must first work to improve its quality to a level above what is guaranteed otherwise they will be constantly under uh, under this service recovery and people will keep on coming and asking for money back and uh, and the guarantee that they are giving the third is service firms whose quality is truly uncontrollable due to external factors would be foolish to consider a guarantee so there are things that are uncontrollable because of external forces so in that case it becomes difficult for the service company to give a guarantee because they will never they will not be able to fulfill that guarantee because of the external forces and the fourth is in a market where consumer see little financial personal or psychological risk associated with purchasing and using a service a guarantee adds little value but still cost money to design implement and manage so when the perceived risk is lesser so there is no point in guaranteeing that service because there is little that uh, the, the the customer does not see any uh, any financial personal or psychological risk while it will take time uh, and money for, uh, on the company side to design implement and manage the service guarantee in markets where there is little perceived difference in service quality among competing firms the first firm to institute a guarantee may also be able to obtain the first mover advantage and create value differentiation for its services so when there is little perceived differences in services then the firm that first guarantee it will be able to take mileage out of it if more than one competitor already have guarantees in place offering one may become a qualifier for the industry and the only real way to make an impact is to launch a highly distinctive guarantee beyond what is already offered by the competitor so one is that when there is no difference between services then what to do another is when the competitors are already giving a guarantee and you also give a similar guarantee then it will not lead to value differentiation for your services in that case you will have to come up with a highly distinctive guarantee only then this differentiation will happen otherwise not another important thing that the company has to do is to discourage abuse and opportunistic customer behavior while we discuss the importance of professional complaint handling and service recovery we have to acknowledge that not, that not all customers are honest so when there are some dishonest customers then what to do so when firms have generous service recovery policies or offer guarantees there is always a fear a doubt that some customers may take advantage of them 
not all complaining customers are right or reasonable in their behavior. We refer to such people as J customers. A J customer is defined as someone who acts in a thoughtless or abusive way causing problem for the firm, its employees and other customer. So, this one customer he is acting in a thoughtless or abusive way and that will obviously affect the company, its employee and other customers in the service factory. Customers who act in uncooperative or abusive ways are a problem for any organization. Firms that fail to deal effectively with customers misbehavior risk damaging their relationship with all the other customers they did like to keep because this customer, this abusive customer is, is destroying the experience of other customers also. So, there is a risk that other customers would also leave this company. So, there are seven type of J customers. The first is the cheat. Exist cheating ranges from writing complaint letters with the sole purpose of exploiting service recovery policies and cheating on service guarantees to inflating or faking insurance claims and ward robbing that is using an evening dress or to exdo for an evening and then returning it back to the retailer. The second is the thief. The thief J customer has no intentions of paying and sets out to steal goods and services or to pay less than full price by switching price tickets or contesting bills on baseless grounds. The third is the rule breaker. Just as highways need, need safety regulations including do not jaywalk, many service businesses need to establish rules of behavior to guide them safely through the various steps of the service process. Air travel provides one of the best example of rules designed to ensure safety. How should a firm deal with rule breakers? In the case of legally enforceable ones like theft, bad debts or trying to take guns on an aircraft, the course of action need to be laid down explicitly to protect employees and to punish or discourage wrongdoing by the customers. In this picture, dangerous skiers are rule breakers who pose a danger to others and need to be policed. So, this, uh, these kind of, this kind of behavior can can affect the safety of other customers also. The fourth type of uh, J customers are the belligerent. You have probably seen him or her in a store, at the airport, in a hotel or a restaurant, red in the face and shouting angrily or perhaps icily calm and mouthing insults, threats and obscenities. If an employee lacks the power to resolve the problem, the belligerent may become angrier still, even to the point of physical attack. So, this is what is happening. Confrontation between customers and service employee can easily ex uh, escalate. So, there are these employees and here is this customer and they are both throwing things at each other. The fifth type are the family feuders. People who get into argument with members of their own family or worse with other customers make up a subcategory of belligerents we call family feuders. Employee intervention may calm the situation or actually make it worse. Service managers in this situation need to be prepared to think on their feet and act fast. The sixth category is the vandals. So, vandals are basically paying customers who choose to misbehave. Alcohol and drugs are sometimes the cause. At other times, psychological problems may contribute and carelessness can play a role. There are also occasions when unhappy customers, feeling mistreated by the service firm, try to take revenge in some way. The best cure for vandalism is prevention. Improved security discourages some vandals. Good lighting helps as well as open design of public space areas. So, this is installing surveillance cameras in public park can discourage vandalism. And the last type of uh, uh, J customers are the deadbeat. Leaving aside those individuals who never intend to pay in the first place, our term for them is the thief. There are many reasons why customers fail to pay for services they have received. Deadbeats are the one who delay payment. Now, consequences of dysfunctional customer behavior. The first is 
that this behavior affects frontline staff, other customer and the organization itself. Staff morale can be hurt with implications on both, both productivity and quality. Consequences for customers can take both positive and negative forms. Companies suffer financially when demotivated, when demotivated employees no longer work as efficiently and effectively as before. Now, how to deal with customer fraud? Dishonest customers can take advantage of generous service recovery, strategies, service guarantee. They may steal from the firm, refuse to pay for the service, fake dissatisfaction, purposefully cause service failures to occur or overstate losses at the time of genuine service failures. What a step can a firm take to protect itself against opportunistic customer behavior? Treating customers with suspicion is likely to alienate them, especially in situations of service failure. So, not all customers can be, uh, can be wrong. However, it is crucial to keep track of customers who repeatedly experience service failures and ask for compensation or invokes firm's service guarantee. So, those people who are doing it all the time, every time, so the, uh, the company has, has to be aware of that and take care of these kind of customers. For example, one Asian Airlines found that the same customer lost his suitcase on three consecutive flights. So, frontline staff was made aware of this individual. The next time he checked in his suitcase, the check-in staff followed the video image of the suitcase almost from check-in to pick up at the baggage claim at the traveler's destination. And it turned out that, the, that a companion collected the suitcase and took it away while the traveler again made, made his way to the lost baggage customer to report his missing suitcase. This time, the police were waiting for him and his friend. To be able to effectively detect consumer fraud, maintaining a central database of all compensation payments, service recoveries, return goods, and any other benefit given to customer based on special circumstances are needed. It is important to merge customer data across departments and channels for detecting these unusual transactions. Research has shown that customers who think they were treated unfairly in any way are much more likely to take advantage of a firm's service recovery effort. Firms should ensure that their service recovery procedures are fair. Large firms should recognize that customers are more likely to cheat on them and have robust fraud detection system in place. Firms can implement and thus reap the bigger marketing benefit of 100% money by a guarantee without worrying that the large payouts would increase cheating by much more. Guarantee can be offered to regular customers or as part of a membership program because repeat customers are unlikely to cheat on service guarantees. Truly excellent service firms have less to worry about cheating than the average service providers. So, to conclude, in this module, we have understood the importance of service guarantees. Next, we have explained how to go about designing an effective service guarantee. We have also learned when firms should offer the service guarantee and when they should not uh, offer service guarantee, for which firms it is important, for which firms it is not, and how to make this service guarantee and in what situation to make it this service guarantee as, uh, as a sustainable competitive advantage. Finally, we have discussed about the seven types of uh, J customers and way to manage them effectively. And these are the three books from which the material for this module was uh, used. Thank you.